so it was funny to see that he was really looking past me and um that was some of the things i'd said and and when we were doing the press conference i told him i was gonna i told him i was gonna fuck him and make him my bitch <laughs> on the friday night let him know let him know, you know? And, yeah. and the funny thing is too that video really highlights how much he flinched <laughs> Cup to cup. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cup to cup. Episode number 217, folks. We got a badass episode in front of you. We finally. Got a guest back, and we have a fucking hell of a guest. Uh, we just recorded it, actually, um, which is awesome. We're trying to, trying to switch it up a little bit with that, recording with them before and then going into the episode after. Um, you don't need to know that, but I still told you. Um, <laughs> now you know. Now you know. But uh, Austin, Turp, Daddy Slim, Turpin, was he's a slap. Wait, let me say this right. Power slap striker. Yeah. Fucking, what a great fucking name, by the way. Power amazing. Slap Striker. A, uh, that's going to be, uh, so stay tuned for that. It's a little bit later on in the episode. Great interview. Um, really cool guy. Um, we do have Florida Man. We got the bracket. We got fucking, you know, uh, this is where we fucked up. Would you rather? Yeah, very special. Yeah, that's it. Mm. Ooh, very special. special. Um, Lovely. I love the passion he's putting in it's a little bit, a little bit less of an emotional one like last week, uh, which was still. I got some compliments on my dad tip last week. I just want to say I'm kind of a bad motherfucker, uh, but <laughs> bad I can't fucking dude. For that. Did you I get credit the for compliment? That. Or in, I was gonna say I was like it was Antonio. Uh, God no, damn, I'm I gotta bleep that. <laughs> Beep. <laughs> <laughs> nah, fuck it. Uh, yeah, but yeah. So anyway, so uh, I do have two of my very boys here with me tonight um it's jason and chris no chase um uh, i don't know where he is nobody knows it, we don't he, know the world doesn't know uh he's just, it's funny both chris and kevin went up to me or not went up to me right before we hit record like hey man uh did chase tell you like where he where he was going or why he's not on here i was like no shot and then chris goes uh do you know where no shot and i was like okay no one knows <laughs> nope. who fuck chase is bro uh, Chase is Chase is where Chase is. That's he's doing his thing. All he said, he's like, I'm out next week. But there was never any like context <laughs> of vacation. This just, I'm out. It's gonna be in Paris, to just to see if we can get an answer. It's just casual, dude. Show, but, uh, Chase, we're gonna give you a Chase update throughout the podcast, guys. We'll <laughs> Chase up. Chase, where are you at? <laughs> you think that'll work? Come right out. Um, uh, I didn't uh, tell you guys. Uh, me and Chris well, we just had our. Item. Me and Chris just had our Chris weekend, uh, 2023. Woo. Um, sorry, Jay. Um, you know, but what? my wife went out of town and people off. <laughs> my bad. I'm doing it again, guys. <laughs> I'm doing it again. Like, Jay, I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to hear about it. I'll name that sound, but I know what that is. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> Chris came in. Chris, town. why don't you tell me what you told me about the trip? What you, what, 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 what you learned? <laughs> yeah. uh, what what I learned is, um, well, not only did I get parent advice, but yo, solo dads out there. Or a solo parent, I should say. Man, props to you, because props for sure. Whew, I, I got a firsthand experience of what it would be be like being a parent as somebody that's not a parent, and you can see like how like how sweet they are, but like when they go at each other as siblings, man, they they know how to push each other's fucking buttons, and it is what are you just saying? my kids are assholes. Just say it. I wouldn't say your kids are assholes. No, it's your, too late. Your kids are sweet, but like they know exactly how to yeah. fucking get the under the other one's skin and then it turns into fucking a battle about i want to use the next snapchat filter or i want to look at this wait let's make did this you, clear my kids you, do not have phones or snapchat. sorry i should say it's it is my snapchat they're yeah, one yeah. of you take they like all the filters and shit yeah. chris i gotta ask did you like text your mom and just say i'm sorry for my brother and i for all the shit <laughs> I'm, we so, gave you? <laughs> I'm sorry for how horrible we were yeah i, I told this him, is I told payback him in the middle of the weekend i was like I was like, see, this is a good form of birth control right here. Right? <laughs> <It's> <laughs> like, you think about it, kids? Kev's was like, come down and hang out for a weekend. Yeah. Nah, I'm chilling. Yeah. 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 Let's make Chris sure like, I'll that see we're uh, sure, you know? <laughs> Yeah, Kevin's like, you're going to come back, uh, you know, that October month that we were talking about? Uh, yeah, yeah, let me uh, check my schedule. We, we, we did right 2023. There. We'll do 2024. What we'll, we'll do next? We'll, 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 skip, we'll skip Halloween this year. <laughs> yeah. I would never skip Halloween. 
Um, um, so yeah. Um, we got opening just, item. Yeah, let's get are, in the are opening you excited item. for it. I am are you excited for it. I'm get, always get, excited get, get for pumped. the opening item. Get let's go. Get this. Excuse me, do you know how much a polar bear weighs? No, how much? Enough to break the ice. Hi, Fred Searing. How are you? I always try to find something from that opening, and I, I couldn't find anything quick enough. Mm. Like a random thing we haven't been like, oh, did you notice that guy has gelled herpes. hair? How could you oh. tell herpes from the <laughs> growth on his face? Oh, just, just he's itching. Yeah. He's like, God damn itching. it. That's fair. Uh, yeah. Chris, you're here. Why don't you just <laughs> yeah. tell us uh, what the opening item is? The opening item is you get pushed, I assume pushed, transported, whatever, into the year 2040. What is the first thing you are Googling? Hmm. Now, this is where you call on me or Jason. So. Oh. Uh, Jason, what's the first thing you're going to search on Google if you awake or appear and it's 2000, 2040? 2040, 2040. What's the first thing you want to know? My head goes towards cancer. Like, do we cure cancer? I had that similar thought, actually. I don't know why. It's cure cancer or dementia or something like that. Like, I feel like one of those are going to kill me. Like, it's going to be, like, <laughs> dementia or, or cancer or Alzheimer's or something like that. Like, one of those three things are going to kill me. And so I want to know if there's a there's wow. a cure for it. That's I know. I got choice. morbid, but I'm, I'm just <laughs> hey, being honest. I, I'm no, being I, honest. I want I'm your honest, honest opinion, just and I got it. Honest. Uh, so, Kevin. Me, yeah, yeah. For me, uh, I'm going to do a quick search. It's not going to be straight to dot com slash brackets and see what bracket we've been doing um while i was gone for the last you know what you know, 17 years, years. Yeah, yeah 17 years so well you're 17? not gone i think you just flash fast forward so your whole life is just being like lived boom without you knowing no, i just want to make sure sudden. what brackets we've done um yeah and if we haven't done you know best beef jerky yet i was going to recommend it um so i feel like you have to I feel like by 2040, we'll be fucking we're just doing fucking anything beef. at this point. Like, we're out of <laughs> ideas. We're like, what's you know, the best crayon color? Like, come on. <laughs> what are you talking about? Magenta is fucking beautiful. What the fuck? I was going to say magenta. We're finishing each other's fuchsia. sandwiches. Mm, I would like a sandwich. Um, what about you, Chris? Okay. <laughs> for, for me, I think for me and my first thought, if like I woke up in, or appeared in 2040, I think I would Google... My family and close friends, because I mean that's seventeen years. I want to see if make sure I'll I'll be like Jay a little more, but I want to see if anybody's still alive. Did anybody pass in that seventeen year time span? And check on the well being of those closest to me, and then want to find then probably. Gordon Jason, he's gonna die. So he's not know, gonna so die. just get ready for that. Okay, just brace yourself now. It's coming eventually. Who's gonna we be the first one of us past, to go? Guys. You think it's gonna be me? I think it's gonna be me for sure. Jason's been saying for years it's going to be him. I thank you, Chris. I said I he's literally been like it's going to be me many times. Yeah, he is. He's betting on himself is going to be the first one to die. If I if I knew my ex's number, I remember getting in a fight with her because she got really upset with me one time because she was like talking about the future, and I was like, "Oh, I'm not going to live past 50." And I've been saying that since high school, and she was just like, "How can you fucking say that? That's so depressing." And she like walked out. I was like, "This is a weird fight that we just had. (laughs) This is a Uh, strange altercation we got it." So I'm wait, waiting the, for her to like Instagram me at like 51. She's like, hey, aren't you 51 right now? See, you did leave, you little fucker. Piece of shit. You're still alive, huh? How about that? Yeah. So wait, of the five of us, who do you think will live the longest? Uh, mm. That's a good question. It's probably Chase, yeah, even though he's like Chase. the least like healthy person <laughs> in the least podcast. It. No offense, bro. I mean, he knows can't it. say that and say no offense. <laughs> I can. I can. It's just like, uh, God bless your heart. But she, he's yeah, stupid. Yeah, <laughs> hey man, he's, uh, he's no, doing like, those. He's doing lunges. He's doing lunges. He's doing the lunges. Ish. He's doing the lunges. Uh, backstory behind the lunges, guys. Uh, that is the new uh, monthly thirty challenge that we're all doing. Shallow lunge. lunges, fifty fifty uh, each leg. Um, it is uh, uh, terrible. Jason decision. doesn't like my form or J- Chris's form rather. No, he didn't I like the mean, angle of the picture that he just. The <laughs> angle of the picture looked like he was like trying to give himself head. It wasn't like the greatest. Can the it? Table, can it be both? Can it be both? I mean, good for you, Chris. If you're if able to uh, do that, if lunges get me into that position, I'm fucking. <laughs> Kevin's like, I'm I'm doubling I'll my do, lunges I'll ASAP. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now it makes sense why Kevin gets them done first, guys. Like, yeah. He's always the first one done. In Seven fifty. Kevin's like, I, well, I got him in, bro. I mean, I come yeah. after twenty, so you know, like. <laughs> yeah. After twenty, twenty, ah, like, oh, shit. Fuck, I'm finishing. Twenty-one. Later. <laughs> Twenty-one. 
I always think about when we have guests and then like they'll like promote the episode before this and then realize like <laughs> what the fuck are we getting into? Yeah. And then if you're wondering, don't worry, we're going to Florida man, it's gonna get even worse, and then you're gonna hear about the Terp, and the yeah. Terp is all you wanna hear about, you'll see. Um, oh, yeah. uh, but speaking of that, let's uh, do Florida man. All right, so like 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 I normally do, uh, I read a headline. I leave a blank or two out. Uh, this week we will we will be leaving out two blanks. Oh, here we go. Uh, you got two and here. this one seems familiar. I feel like I've done it, but I think maybe part of it has been done by a Florida man, but the other half wasn't. Or maybe this is a story that got into the story more and gave us more details because there's a detail that, detail that I know for a fact. I have not put into uh, this headline if I've done this headline. And that was a lot to like explain. Uh, it, it wasn't was. necessary. But there's a good chance I up. probably still don't remember anyway, so yeah, it's okay. 100%. But there's two blanks. Uh, Chase isn't here, but like you said, Chris, uh, as of last uh, last week, Chris is now on the board. He will be, uh, he will be uh, uh, doing the, the bet, uh, whatever we choose. Challenge. Currently, right now, the score for the Big Board Challenge, which represents Florida Man, Name That Show, Trivia, and What's That Sound, uh, Chase is leading with seven. Bitch. Kevin has five, and Chris mm-hmm. has three. So he's not Come too on. far behind. I you get this change. Florida man. I'm tied up tonight. You get you get okay. both of them. Yeah, I'm coming at you. Wild, wild. Uh, all right, Florida man wearing nothing but blank attacks woman with blank. I gave you clues already, guys. I already said like one of these have been used before. So you're Florida welcome. man wearing nothing but blank. A tax woman with blank. I'm gonna do something a little different too. I'm gonna tell you what it was over, just to give you guys some some more clues. Uh, okay. This is apparently it was all over a crack pipe. Naturally. Oh yeah, that okay. makes sense. It makes sense now. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> it's all clicking. Florida man. Hmm. Only wearing. Only wearing a cowboy hat. A tax woman. With a dildo. Okay. Damn, took half my answer. He was only wearing... Which, wait, which is half the answer? The dildo or the cowboy? He, no, the dildo. The dildo is what uh, I was thinking. Okay, I was like, what the fuck are we doing? He was only wearing jorts and nice. attacked with Wait, how do you know that he's not wearing underwear underneath that i don't i just i okay. All right. i'm okay. just assuming jorts and he attacked with a snake mm. i don't like it but snake florida man wearing nothing but blank attacks with woman woman with blank what were you saying mm-hmm. kev I, I was thinking i think didn't we <clears throat> attack somebody with a gator but at somebody yeah, I think someone mm-hmm. threw a gator at somebody. Yeah, before. a gator was involved in an attack somewhere. Yeah. But guys, you can put it on the board. There we go. Yeah. You can put it. <laughs> <laughs> it's only one, guys. Uh, and it is Kevin. Yeah. It was a cowboy hat. Yes, let's go. Well done. Picking up oh, points boy. while Chase is yep. gone. Vacation Picking up Chase. While Chase is gone. Vacay oh, Chase. This wasn't even approved PTO either. He just said, yeah, fuck man, it. Look into your eyes. I want to know if you're lying to me. Did you know what this Florida man was? We did not. Mm, he's smart. He's, he's, uh, he's like, crap, he's look smart. away. Look away. He's smart at me, bitch. <laughs> fuck you. Kevin, Kevin, knows the an- Kevin knows the deal, though. If he gets one of them wrong, it's not as suspicious. Like, oh, So he's like, all right, let's I'm not, that, <laughs> I'm not that fucking creative, bro. Let's, let's be I honest. didn't think that far ahead. My face gave it away. When you said that, I was like, fuck. Well, you, like, you I did. You I was like, I thought you were doing that on purpose. Like, you know, like, haha, you good. You know, you got it which, wrong, but no, well, you was it? Right. I don't even know the Psych. answer. So I don't know which part I got right. Oh, anymore. Florida man wearing nothing but cowboy hat attacks hey. woman with machine. This is the one that's been common with a machete. Machete. I feel like I've heard uh, machete yeah. before. Yeah. Lots of machete. That is a common one. Yeah. Well, let's part, start the, putting that in the common machete, answers. The weeds. Machete. Uh, but yeah, we alluded to this guy's oh, already please. once, uh, twice, maybe three times. <laughs> uh, but Austin Terp, you got to listen to this uh, uh, interview we had with him. It's fucking epic. If you don't know what the sport is, it's power oh, yeah. slap. Basically, there's two guys. Uh, I, I think there's women. I think it's the women's side of his of the sport too. I could be wrong. Uh, Jose, check me. But basically, one stands on one side, other one stands on the other side. There's specific rules. He goes over that. 
One of them slaps the shit out of them. If they're still standing, it keeps mm-hmm. going until one drops, I think. Or maybe there's some points involved. We didn't really go into that part. Most of the time, somebody just falls down and they look like they're dead. They go. Um, mm-hmm. They go. But what we, what Kevin kind of found out, and I think Chris found out late too, this guy is number two. He's actually uh, in August. Crazy. I think he said ninth or He's eighth. a big deal. Uh, oh, he said ninth. He, August ninth. Ninth, I think. Uh, he is going in for the championship for the heavy belt, um, and he's going to go into that. And he's a Florida boy, Jacksonville uh, native. So it was a fucking great up. All right, folks. It is finally happened. We finally have a power slapper. We got Woo! our boy introducing Austin. Turp Daddy Slim Turpin. What's up, Austin? Come on, man. Come on. Big Thanks tur- for having me, y'all. I'm, I'm yes, glad sir. to be here. I'm fine as frog hair. We were, out, we were talking probably 15 minutes, everybody, prior to this. I, I had a feeling he was from Florida, but he uh, he's from Jacksonville, so it's going to be a good time since uh, half our show. So when we introduce this show and you listen, you'll, you'll hear we'll do a segment. It's called Florida Man. Um, basically we'll pull a Florida man headline, leave a blank out and we try to fill out, figure out what the fuck this guy did. And so I just felt like it, it like you coming on being a Florida man, a power slab, it's going to be a good time. So it's right. Um, in. so yeah, definitely. I, man. I, I try to embrace Florida and everything I do. I, uh, it's just, uh, who I am. Hell yeah. You All right. So my first like Florida swag to you, bro. Thank you, bro. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> my, my first question, I'm going to just get into it with you. How, Tell me a little bit about yourself and how you got into this sport. Uh, and then we'll dive into like what this sport actually is and like what, what, it, what it entails and stuff like that. Got you. Got you. So, I mean, really uh, I've always had like a competitive edge. So I've, I've always really, um, when it came down to any type of competition, whether it be like high school football, high school wrestling, um, playing basketball with the boys, playing, you know, football, hanging out, anything just, when uh, it's me and another person going at it, trying to see who's better at this or that, I just give it my all. And I, there's just something inside a, a true competitor, a true dog that just um, where they just they, they get they just constantly go and go and go and give it the you know be be extreme in a, in, a, in a competition sense. And um, it's just who I am, man. I've always just liked to be the most that I can. Yeah. How did like when it came and, to the sport? It's brand new. How, like, how did you even try out? Did you see it? Did you slap someone and you went viral and you're like, hey, you should try this sport out? Like, how, how did you become a power slapper? And is it called a power slapper? I don't want to disrespect yeah, what's, you. What's like, the, are, term, what you're called? the term? So it'd be like a power slap striker is what I'm called. Sure. Like power okay. slap striker. But like what got me into it is just the fact that I like competing. You know, I just liked – I've always been a competitive person. And then I've always also been a fantasy and, and watched um, – pretty much anything that they from the ultimate fighter to um fight nights to dana white's contender series to all i watch all, all the reviews and when i saw that dana white and um his promotion team were getting behind the power slap game the power slap sport whatever you want to call it the, the entertainment of power slap um i i figured you know this would be a great opportunity for me to have some fun um, embrace yeah. my competitive uh, uh, nature inside of me. So I started watching the show, and I found out that you could apply. I applied, and uh, next thing you know, I got a message back from their people um, talking about, am I still interested? Can I send them some videos? Um, so, I, dude, I got called a couple of my buddies up. We went down to the Academy Sports Um Filmed a couple videos of us slapping a dummy. They got bobs in the academy sports just sitting around nice. up there. We slapped that around with <laughs> no customers. Way, customers bro. were walking by with their kids. That's and awesome. Not. We're slapping that. And we go to a bar and then slap those little those punching yeah. machines. That's mm-hmm. uh-huh. your yeah. shit. So went and done that shit. And then, uh, I mean, for a while there, I kind of thought like, okay, this is a joke, blah, blah, blah. Because I yeah. get back to working and I'm not even – it gets to the point where I'm not really – even thinking about us you know i i was thinking well maybe it's just not meant to be or whatever and then fuck i don't know maybe a month later down the road shoot later um they called me and said hey we got a fight for you in las vegas no you know, let's come go. down there let's let's go. Game. so now, fired me up dude now dana white seems cool as hell uh like i'd like to meet him 
but have you met him? I assume you have. And Izzy is cool as he seems in person. Or, I mean, he really is. I've only TV, I've right? only met him in the. So I've only met him in passing, really. You know, it's not oh, like he true. spends much time. You know, I've I've shook his hand and I've you know I've talked a little bit about my performances just late after, like after a uh, after a match of mine, we we've seen each other and just said, hey, you know, this or that. And he's a busy guy. He don't have time. You know, he's no, probably sure. going to do something else or got you know we're talking. He's got people around him also always too. So he's you know he's got important people with you know pockets full of money around him that he's got entertained oh, sure. there. You know. Yeah. So, nah, that's so cool. I wasn't trying to take up his time. Let me um, <laughs> let me play this. I'm gonna share it with my screen real quick. Uh, I know everyone hates when I say that term. Thank you for telling me. But yeah, we appreciate you. Sharing. I'm gonna share this. This is one of the ones from Power Slab. And if you guys don't follow, and we'll, we'll tag Austin's Instagram and stuff like that too towards the end. But so if you follow Power Slab, they'll show a bunch of stuff. One of the latest ones that kind of blew up recently was uh, this one that's sponsored by Monster Energy, and it had you. Says Turp, your your fucking Instagram, uh, Turp Daddy Slim, fucking awesome by the way. Yeah. Great uh, handle. Knocked Great out handle. the number two light heavyweight in round one. So let me play this real quick, and I kind of want you to tell me after we watch this, like what goes into this sport. Tell me a little bit about the rules and stuff like this, and like this is his life. Whoa. This guy looks terrifying, dude. Way. He's shaking. Oh, oh, You hump, is that the one that you um, yeah, uh, hump the yeah. floor? Like you get that's on there it. and like dance on the floor. <laughs> yeah. that's the one. Yep, that's the one, man. Yeah. And you know what? I told that guy because he he was a, he was a very cocky guy, um, and he just he overlooked me from the beginning. And you know, even from uh, when, he was in my uh, training or my my tryouts group, I should say, with Power Slap One when I went there in March. Yeah. So I had seen that guy, talked to him a little bit then, and. He's just one of those uh, real fucking uh, real too good for everybody else type type mm-hmm. of guys. Okay. So uh, when we got the opportunity to fight and coming into it, he his talk his game about it to towards me would be like I didn't deserve to be up there with him, or you know he he didn't understand how I you know how I earned it or whatnot. Which and we'd been in the we'd done the same amount of fights, been there from the beginning together which i didn't i didn't really give a fuck you know i'm not there to make somebody i don't want nobody i don't give a fuck if somebody thinks i earned it you know because i'm putting in the work to really earn it myself i know i earned it yeah um so it was funny to see that he was really looking past me and um that was some of the things i'd said and and when we were doing the press conference i told him i was gonna i told him i was gonna fuck him and make him my (laughs) bitch on uh, friday night let him know let him know know? (laughs) And then the funny thing is, too, that video really highlights how much he flinched before yeah. my drive. Oh, he, he looked terrible. But even his is that eyes, legal though, too? Got like uh, with the terrified. sport. Sorry, Jay. Is that is that no, is that legal to kind of like uh, like you know go with the slap? You know, or are you supposed to like stand still? See, that's the thing. There's a lot of there's a lot of rules and niche rules to the sport. You know, there's a lot of things that you have to um, kind of watch out for, and that's one of them. Just like just like you said, yeah, it, it is illegal to to move like that and, and flinch like that i mean and when you think about what a flinch is you know it'd be like when somebody goes to throw a throw a punch at you you know you're either gonna like flinch away of it or you yeah. know kind of back up at it and um because there's a there's a fine line between bracing and flinching for it because if you brace for it you kind of just like you know willing to take it you know just yeah, like yeah. come on give it to me and yeah. then there's the flinch, you know, where like when your older brother throw one at you or act like <laughs> throw one at you, you, know, yeah. you move at it, you shake at it yeah. like a little like a little bug or something. And um, when and when you do that on the power slap stage, it's just like uh, just like normal. You get two for flinching. So really? if his little squirrely butt Ooh. would have been able to get up, I'd have hit him again. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's, put him okay, right so, back down. So all right, right so that's down. that's badass. Give me a little bit. <laughs> about the rules kind of like to set the stage for us kind of like for a novice person coming in maybe a little okay. high level stuff yeah okay so there there's two sets of rules obviously because there's two people in in the uh, competition you know you got your man on defense you got your man on offense the the one taking a strike the one delivering now it the the simplest set of rules come from the guy taking the strike so if you're up there some of the most one i mean the few things that you got to do is Obviously, you got to hold that pole behind your back, the the slap stick behind your back. 
Okay. There's a box that we have on there. That's why if you just look on the ground in front of the podium, you'll see two different colors, a red and a blue um, block, a box that we stand in. And uh, we'll have to have our feet um, squared in that inside that box with our um, body leaning up to the podium, touching the podium and our chin um, giving out parallel to the edge of the podium so our chin has to be over the uh edge of the podium so we can't be like okay. tucking our chin and like this <laughs> right, you know right. doing a chris okay. farley you know yeah. so um <laughs> and you cannot flinch you cannot flinch so and then when flinching like the the fine line between flinching is you know you're bracing for it like you're you're doing your you're waiting for it or like as soon as somebody comes to hit you you like try to move away from him. And yeah. um, now there, there's also a technique that some guys are trying to um, get good at or yeah, get good at. And um, it's called like, they're, they're calling it the rolling with it. Kind of like in boxing, how, you know, you see guys who will try to Mayweather's real good at rolling with a punch. So he doesn't take most of the force of it. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And that's what these guys are doing. So breaking down into the flinch rule is after, contact with the face after the land the hand lands on the face you can move but any time before and they got slow-mo cameras so they'll catch your ass you try to <laughs> cheat off i was gonna say that's gotta be like timing yeah. you gotta time that shit Very perfect. yeah right yeah. it's all timing bro it's all timing and that's why most guys who try it don't get are not successful with it and um even up that last card there was a fellow who tried it over and over and over again and this kid i mean he ended up fucking uh he got disqualified because he kept getting called for flinching because uh, mm. maybe he was trying to roll with it or something. Yeah. I know what the fuck he's trying to do. <laughs> but um, <laughs> so you cannot do that. I heard that. Um, and, that and as far as defense goes, you cannot. You got to stay in the box, um, present your chin, be in the, have your stomach up on the podium, and no flinching. And and it's okay. as simple as that. You know, you're okay. you're there to take a strike. We all. It's called power slap, you know. We're yeah, signing right. up to get slapped. You're there for so. a goddamn reason, right? You know what's coming. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and how do you? How do you? Who? Who? How do you? Is it a flip of coin? Flip of a coin to um fifty fifty to go first? Is it a fifty yeah. fifty thing? Okay. Yeah, fifty fifty flip it. of a coin, man. And, and they was do that it the like first? A, sorry, was that the first slap? The guy that you knocked the shit out of just now was that? Were you the? Was that the first slap of the of the night with him? No, did actually, he hit that, you first? that with the shit pile is what his yeah. nickname is. <laughs> oh. Um, <laughs> Okay. He actually had hit me first that night. He had won oh. the coin toss that night. Okay. Yeah. So his hopes, you know, he had high hopes coming into it. Yeah. He was riding cloud nine that whole week, finding out he won that coin toss. He thought he had yeah. something slick, you know, <laughs> thought yeah. he had it in the bag. <laughs> and Damn. then uh, next thing you know, he's sleeping. <laughs> oh, I mean, uh, awesome. yeah, go Kev. I mean, this too, like, yeah, I mean, slapping the shit out of somebody has got to be fun, but. What's it like to take one of those fucking hits, bro? Like I know, yeah, I saw you got your uh, you got your jaw um, um, exercise the thing that you put in your mouth. I saw Joe Rogan using that once, uh, so I was like, oh, it must be legit, you know? Joe Rogan's fucking doing it. Yeah, uh, but hey, dude, you ought to try it yourself because it really does change a lot of things, and it's um, it happens quickly. It happens so quickly because of the food that we eat, now, you know, because we're always eating the same soft type of foods. You get uh -huh. on this, they give you a four pack. <clears throat> And immediately you start to feel changes, bro. Really? Damn. What's that called? The Jolster size. The Jolster size. I'm gonna try it. Why not? It sounds like I mean, you need a sponsorship, fun. by the way. I just want to throw the Jolster size. <laughs> it, it, put it, it out I mean, there. I, and it's good for all of us. It's good for all yeah. of us. You know, I mean, uh, all you men, all, 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 all us guys, got to have strong, um, you know, strong, sturdy faces. You know, you want to yeah. have. Um, you just want to be uh, a strong guy in general. Yeah, for sure. From head I got to. A, I got a. I got a face that everyone's to beat the shit out of, so I got to toughen up a little bit. So I'll take, <laughs> I'll I'll take take you get this face ready. For some you you start chewing on that thing, next thing you know, people are going to start running away from you. As soon as you <laughs> yeah. <that face. laughs> I'm not well, punching, that's Jay. That's why, that that's why I've been lifting. It hasn't it hasn't happened yet, so let's see if the job so, decides. So what's it like to take one of those slaps? So, I mean, obviously, you got to have a strong chin, strong jaw, you know, but uh, besides that, you just kind of, what, just sit there and... Yeah, I mean, it's really it's really that. You just sit there and kind of take it, you know, and, and going up to uh, – leading up to the event, there's a lot of opportunity for it to, to get into your head. So mentally, 
it kind of just depends on who you are. You know, if you're one of those people who are kind of just worried about um, taking a jump or worried about hopping in or something like that, maybe it'll get to you. But as far as like when you get up there and, you know, dude's about to hit you, it's like it's too late to, to, to get worried about it or it's too mm-hmm. late to be scared of him hitting you. And then um, as you're bracing for it, you know, you're, you're, you're flexing every muscle you can and, you know, you're kind of just doing your thing in your head. You're, you're looking at the guy who's about to hit you. And, you, and that's, the, that's the best part to me. That was the most <laughs> fun so far is like looking at somebody right before they're about to hit me. This man's a killer. knowing that just there's nothing they got in them that's, gonna, <laughs> that's, got, that's got what it takes. That's crazy. Then like, he hits you. Then he hits you, and it's just like surprise, surprise, so, out of nowhere. You I so mean, last, dude, I, last dude cocked me in the eye too. Ooh, like, is that a legal hit? Because I had my jaw. You know, I was flexing my jaw. There's mm-hmm. no, yeah. I'm not really like fle- I wasn't like flexing my face or nothing. Wasn't expecting one up there. Jeez, I had everything uh, down here worked out. Yeah, was that a legal hit for the eye that high up? You know, um, it did. Yeah, it was legal. Yeah, it was legal. Okay. It didn't get called. Um, so yeah, okay. it was legal. Dude's probably got so, some big ass hands too, man. Yeah, <laughs> I, my my questions we're gonna go actually geared towards now is is kind of like the the preparing, like how how you get stronger and shit like that. So I got to know your opinion. Do you think when it comes to taking the hit, and we'll get into actually giving the hit, but taking the hit, do you think it's more nature versus nurture? Like you were born like to be able to take a hit, or do you think there it's like fifty fifty? Like you're kind of born with it, but you got to be able to train to be able to take a hit, like because I've I've hit some people and they they flopped before and then I've had some guys I've watched a couple of my fr- friends get just wailed on and they're just sitting there just taking it like caveman style like I'm like that's they're just fucking mm-hmm. born with that they weren't trained for that yeah I I'd say it's probably much seventy five twenty five because you know you can have somebody um who's just big and strong and uh, can just take it eat it and um. It doesn't even bother them. Don't even phase them. You know, they can just take it all day. Yeah. And at the other hand, I don't know. I don't, you know, actually, I would almost say it's it's all of it. It's 100% um, nature. nature. You got to yeah. have it in you. It's all nature because um, there's only so much, there's only so, there's only so much you can do to change the fact of whether or not you're going to mentally be willing to take it because <clears throat> you can go up there, you can, because we're getting paid. You know, we're getting mm-hmm, yeah. paid and most of these guys, they don't, they don't got this opportunity. They're not doing stuff like this. So there's, um, there's reason to go up there. So you can, um, just be a little squirrely up there. And I've even heard guys, they just see what they get to just the showing up. They're okay with just getting a little vacation to Las Vegas and mm-hmm. having new mm-hmm. friends and talking to people trip, and man. stuff like that. <clears throat> yeah. They want in nature because uh next thing you know it it, it turns into not so fun of a vacation because your ass is leaving with a fucking headache <laughs> yeah my head's killing me it's like well yeah i saw uh, i saw on so, your bio yeah. i saw on your bio that it said uh you know if you were if you were to slap fight with anybody it'd be what the fuck are you thinking man with john jones yeah or who, who, is that what it is yeah that's what it said yeah john jones you, you're gonna slap john jones I mean, you know, I think that was just a fun question. You know, I'm a <laughs> no, fan of agree, the sport. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a really big fan of the sport. I've, I've, I've literally watched um, since I forever. You know, I can't, I can't yeah. say I watched Tough One when it came out or nothing like this, but I've just been watching it for fucking ever. The episodes, of the Ultimate Fighter, everything, literally. So John Jones has been one of my, um, one of the one of my favorite fighters. You know, I there's a number had, of guys. I, I, I thought like, you had some secret it. beef with him or something. I don't know about you know. Oh no. <laughs> I was like, I was like, man, I don't know about that. Like, no, I can't hate on nobody, bro. Yeah, I hear you. Uh, I hear you. So, I, is there... I make people want beef with me. So. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. do a hell of a job, bro. Your your social media, bro, I love it because I'll just go when you post something. Like, I'll watch the video, but I'll go straight to the comments because I'm like, oh, yeah, it's it's I want to see be, what they're oh, saying. Just yeah. a shitload of haters, man. <laughs> yeah, who the hell is um, Ryan Phillips? And 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 why why can you beat his ass? That's a good question. Yeah. Who the hell is that guy? <laughs> Nobody. He's a, he's he's an old man. He's falling apart. He's, uh-huh. he's just as cheesy as can be. He's got literally no character. You can see right through the guy. You can just tell he's a he's a he's everything that he watches on TV is who he tries to be. He don't have 
He don't even know who Ryan Phillips is. You ask him, <laughs> you don't you ask him that question, he'll say that's a good damn question. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean he 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 um he's nobody, bro. You think they'll ever try uh, to make that happen though? You two getting together or what? I mean, if they if they uh, do an open thing, I don't think it's yeah. fat ass to get down to two hundred pounds. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, Ryan. Yeah, Ryan titties. titties. <laughs> <laughs> it was, but you know what? I give I give him that. At least he talked, man. Because most of these guys up here, it's just they. It's like the cats got their tongue. You know, it's yeah. They, mm-hmm. um, in the headlights, huh? They're in the headlights. And another thing is they catch me off guard with the um, whole response to like, well, the, you know, the UFC guys, they, they're all respectable. Or the MMA, MMA guys, they're all respectable, you know. That's understandable because those guys are going in there to fucking, you know, literally fucking almost die together sometimes, you know. Yeah. They're, mm-hmm. They've worked. I mean, I've, I've been, uh, I mean, I did sports in middle school and high school. Worked out a bunch, got real strong. Still, I'm getting back into the gym now. I'm, I'm so thankful for that. Thanks, so thankful for that. Yeah. And um, so I think, uh, you know, you just fucking got to seize the opportunity. And when sure. when I see some of these guys just walking up there and wanting to be all stoic, like the bearded bitch, like Ron, <laughs> the guy who's got my belt right now, um, just wants to be the, the fucking uh, – the, the, the fucking I don't know what he wants to be. He's fucking lame. He's lame as fuck. I don't know what he's trying to do. The cat's got his the cat's got all their tongues. What's what's the next move? Like so where 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 do you rank in like what what's your road? What does your road look like to get to like winning the winning your your uh your belt? Live and free, baby. Tune in. Live and free. August 9th on the Rumble app. My Ooh, number okay. one contender there match we go. going against the dead battery. AJ, he's getting his ass sparked up. Mm-hmm. Come on, bro, baby. These Woo! fucking Hell these yeah. fucking names are epic, Dude, bro. right? This like, is awesome. Absolutely hey. epic names, man. <laughs> um, yeah. Bro, this, hey, I, I love your energy so much right now. Yeah, bro. I love yeah, the hype. I love it's Florida, the hype. bro. It's Florida. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a Florida it. thing. And where's this fight at? Is this Vegas again? Vegas again. You know, but I actually, yeah. I did last time I was there. I was talking to Big Dog in the white coat, and he said that uh, they're working on getting one down in Florida. Really. Oh. Oh, I'm sure yeah, he didn't say no be, other state. He oh, didn't Dana say no White other state. Loves Florida. Wouldn't that be he sick, y'all? Yeah. Yo, yeah, he uh, loves Florida. He loves Jacksonville. Um, yeah, mm-hmm. that would be sick. I mean, Jacksonville is a perfect market for for that sport. Like, one hundred percent, the perfect market. Yeah, I think the uh, the people who live in Jacksonville would embody yeah. the uh, whole power slap thing. And bro, I mean, you'd be the hometown hero, dude. Come on, that'd, yeah. Yeah, that'd be sick. Say, Absolutely, bro, in the backyard, yeah. bro. Oh man, home Do- crowd. Oh, love it. That's man. music to my ears. That's music. I gotta to my hook ears. you up with my buddy. Uh, he's a he's a host for uh, River City Live on Channel Four. His name's Rance Adams. Uh, I don't think he knows that you're in Jacksonville. He's a big UFC fan and stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, I didn't know you live in Jacksonville, and and yeah. this is a local TV. It's the number one. Uh, this is where I used to work when I lived in Jacksonville. But it's the number one uh, news station there, man. I gotta hook you guys up because you'd be fun on TV, man. You'd be well, fun. Yeah. Maybe and less curse awesome. words, but it'd be fucking good. It'd be a good. Time. Nah, I can nah, I can he, tone it down. I can tone it exactly. down. Kind of <laughs> Myself I'll do the PG time. version. It's yeah, yeah. Sure. I'll send. I'll send your info to him. I know Rance would love to have your ass on there, man. He he man. loves he loves the sport. That's um, awesome. I I only got one last question, and it's obviously about the training part. So we talked about the defense and the little things you can do, and we pretty much founded that it was like nature that you're gonna be able to handle a hit. But when it comes to giving a hit, like, are you just doing like forearm curls and shit? Like, how do you get a powerful slap? So I mean, um, I'm not really a, a, a gym like savvy guy like i I, oh, yeah. I hadn't worked out since high school and i graduated in high school in 2014 i'd just been land surveying since so getting back into the gym i um one of the things that i uh did to kind of procreate a thing for slap a workout pro a technique for slap is i was slapping my bob and kind of seeing what muscles would would um fire off and what what i felt were most needed and i found that i was using a lot of my back and a lot of my shoulder so i've just been doing like a lot of bent over rows um a okay. lot of like oh yeah peck flies reverse and um standard peck flies and um bench press and uh squats deadlifts so i've been doing kind of like the basics and actually i've okay. got some uh i've been getting some help from truth gym big shout out to truth gym they've um helped they've um, set up for me that i've been doing the gym and um i've been using that so i'm okay 
I'm coming along, man. I'm coming along. And um, eventually I'll have the perfect dancer. This is exactly what I'm doing uh, to get my right. slap stronger. But nice, right now dude. I'm just sticking to the basics, brother. Sticking to the basics. That's sick, dude. I mean, you guys are like the founders of the sport, man. It's going to be like uh, in like 10 years from now, they're going to like bring you guys on stage. You might hear the veterans and shit like yeah. that, you know? This is who started like, it, right? Yeah. It's, it's cool. Like I, I, The reason why I like I normally like on the podcast side of it, on Instagram, I don't fuck with people. I don't argue with people. What I did, I got like heated because I just don't understand um, why people right. want to just talk shit about like it's not a sport. You're a pussy, blah, blah, blah. First off, the pro- the problem I have the most is you're talking about someone who can slap the fucking shit out of you. Yeah, yeah. that's, that's yeah. why are you the talking balls you to have. Them? And then two, like, what does it matter? Like, who gives a fuck if they call it a sport yeah. or not? Like, I didn't understand the hate towards it. I thought it's super fun to watch. It's perfect for social media. It trends right, perfectly. Yeah. It definitely has a place where where I think Dana White finally said, "Yo, this I actually see this. This is gonna be this is viral shit. Like seeing someone get slapped that ultra slow mo of that dude that flinched right. like a little bitch. I say that I say talking yeah. shit to a fighter and then I was gonna that say guy's gonna slap the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> but he I'll flinched right. until I'll be, like, I'll be I'll be standing by your side. Ain't none of them going to take there you. There we go. All right, bro, gonna get you, bro. That face. I didn't until I saw that video again in slow. He really did. He saw the fear of God bro, in his eyes. Yeah. I was like, oh, you just God, see him. He's like, oh shit. Yeah, but yeah, he's trying to run. It just pissed me off. I just like didn't understand why people want to talk shit for someone trying out something new. Like, and that's like the thing, on your man, page, you um, get a lot of haters. Yeah. Most definitely, most definitely. Yeah. But um, I take it in with grace because uh, I could have been, I I could be uh, not talking to you. I could be yeah. not. I just was in Swanee River filming some airboat footage, you know, hunting down alligators. And oh um, hell yeah, I was at nice. my uncle's house. I, they had sent some people out here. They wanted to do a, a video, so. I said, come on down to Swanee River. Uh, my uncle, his name is Rodney Hyden. He's got a documentary on Netflix called The Legend of Cocaine Island. And, oh, yeah. Uh, we went down there and hung out down there. That. And uh, I'm just doing a lot of cool stuff. So when it, when I see all the haters and I see people saying it ain't this, it ain't that, it's like I probably, you know, I probably boast of them in basketball. You know, I could probably hit <laughs> more home runs than most of them. Oh, know? no doubt. Shit, I might even be faster than some of them, yeah. you know. But to me, I love it. Keep it on. Yeah. Please hate on me. Please hate on yeah. me. Please hate on me because eventually, you know what? Maybe you'll get tired of it and you'll want to do something for yourself. You know, you'll go out there and make some of your own self and stop worrying about what somebody else is doing instead of waking up and, you know, at four o'clock in the morning, be working five or five o'clock in the morning, be working six. Don't come home until the sun's down and I got to do it again tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. Yeah. I'd rather mm-hmm. be doing this. I'd rather be slapping the shit out of people. And- <laughs> Getting my body, my mind right. You know? So yeah. I, I can see why they're hating on me. I'm having yeah. fun. I'm enjoying life. Bro, it's a good way piece. to look at it. I like that. Dude, uh, I I appreciate you jumping on this podcast, man. You were everything that I thought you were going to be, bro. You're a fucking hell of a time. Uh, thank you for having me, all y'all. Thank you for yeah, having me, bro. Drop, thank yes, you, bro. Where does everybody follow you? Let us know the next fights, all that kind of stuff right now, man. Come on, you know what it is. Instagram, Turp Daddy Slim. That's the only Instagram you need to follow if you want to follow a power slap guy. <laughs> there you go. On Twitter, Turp underscore slap. And you know what it is, baby. The only app you need on your phone besides Instagram and Twitter to follow me is the Rumble app. August Rumble. 9th, live August and 9th. free. The dead oh, yeah. is Put the jumped date down. up. He needs a spark. Mm-hmm. His ass is dead. Come on, baby. <laughs> Turp Daddy Slim, number He's one done. contender fight. The next one, I'm taking on the bearded bitch. And you're going to mm. see me run and rain with that belt. Love it, bro. Love it. Get his ass. Let Get him. Go, baby. Let's Hell go, yeah, baby. Dude, bro. Come on. Sir, man, I appreciate it, bro. Good Thank luck. You, uh, we will yes, be sir, absolutely man. watching, man. We'll be in your corner, bro. Uh, mm-hmm. Thanks again, man. And, and yeah. keep in touch, dude. Thank you. Definitely, man. I'll have the belt on the show here soon. There we go. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, Let's yeah. do Send it. me that yeah. selfie, bro. Let's go, bro. <laughs> later, later, dude. Thank See you, buddy. later, buddy. Dude, that man brought the hype. That was a good time. Yeah, that good man job, brought the dude. hype. That was a good pull, Jay. Good. Job. <laughs> that was that guy was fun. I did not. I did not like until the last ten minutes. I was like, I think this motherfucker's from Jacksonville. I like. I didn't like, really. I didn't <laughs> do minute. research on it. No, I saw I saw his bio, yeah, he was and fun. I was like, maybe that's how Jason kind of connected with him. But I guess, uh, yeah. yeah. I, 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 get, I went right over my head, man. That was just a that's lucky, crazy. lucky thing. But I'm definitely gonna send his shit to Rance, uh, my buddy. Yeah, um, that's cool. Because but, I would love to see his ass on, uh, on that show. He'd be a good time. And he would. I didn't realize if he, he gets the so exposure. High, he's number two. He's number two in his way. No, I knew that. Yeah, I knew he was around. going up, that's going crazy. for the championship. Because right when I saw him on the Power Slap Instagram, I was like, oh fuck, uh, he's uh, 
He's for real. Um, Undefeated. But no, Jacksonville will eat his ass out. If he gets on the local news, man, and people know that, they'll fucking follow him. Yeah, yeah like you said, a hometown hero. They will be like, heroes welcome. He is yep. Jacksonville, like 100% <laughs> yeah, look at him. Yeah. He is 100% Jacksonville. He's like, he's like, I'm a cool motherfucker, but I will knock you the fuck out. Yeah, up, I will you know? fuck <laughs> you up if yeah, you yeah. come at me. I will ruin but, but you. But I also love you. Like, you're yeah. a cool guy. Yeah, yeah. Awesome, With grace, awesome. but I will fucking kill you if you cross awesome. me. Awesome. All right, boys, uh, we're going to jump into the bracket right now. Uh, Yeah, that's all we got. It's bracket time, baby! Get excited. Mm, It's a special time on the bracket. You know why? Because it's the final fall, baby. We have got four movies left. That's it. And... That's it. That's it, and it's done. And shout out to everybody that has voted on any social. We do all these brackets Thank on you, four criteria. Clyde fucking Thank killing you, Clyde. it, voting all over the platforms. Clyde was out there. He was like, put a poll on threads, man. I'd vote there. So Clyde Clyde going above and beyond, actually, you, for his voting. Mm-hmm. This bracket in particular, Best 90s Rom-Com, is based on four criteria. The romantic aspect, how much romance is in the movie. Comedy aspect, obviously, is it funny, is it not funny? The 90s feel, does it give you that old-fashioned 90s feeling? And then date night, you know, are you fucking? Are you not? You getting some? That's a very simple way for date night. So this week, on the left side of the bracket, we've got the number one top seed. Left side! This actually is the left side, so you're the strong side. The top overall seed, 10 Things I Hate About You against number four, The Wedding Singer, a battle of the top five matchups. I threw in some clips late. I don't know if you saw that. I did add some clips at like 30 minutes before we started. This is so patronizing. Oh, I'll leave it to you to use big words and get smashed. I don't think so. Okay. Why are you doing this? I told you, you may have a concussion. You don't care if I never wake up. Sure I do. Why? Well then, because then I'd have to start taking out girls who actually like me. Like you could find one. Oh, see that, there. Who needs affection when I have blind hatred? I just, <laughs> uh, let me sit down for a while. All right. Okay. So why'd you let him get to you? Who? Joey. I hate him. Well, you've chosen the perfect revenge, mainlining tequila. (laughs) (laughs) Well, you know what they say. Nope, what do they say? No, 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 no. Kat, come on, wake up, look at me. Listen to me, Kat. Open your eyes. Hey. Your eyes have a little green in them. Nothing says significant other like, you know, puking on the other person, right? Your eyes are pretty. <laughs> Has Emily ever yeah. puked on you, Jay? No. Uh, she. There was one time, I think it was in one of the New Year's. Just get a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> There's no puke. Done. One of the New Year's, one of the times that we've all partied on New Year's Eve, uh, I remember passing out before... <laughs> She passed out and she was puking in the in the toilet and she was like, "You're a fucking asshole." I was like, "I woke up." <laughs> That's like, love. Fu-? That's love. I was like, "What the fuck did I do?" And then I like, and then I realized the next morning I was like, "Oh, I woke up," meaning that I fell asleep not taking care of her. Um, but that was probably the last time that I kind of had an opportunity to take care of her. To be honest with you, she doesn't get wasted. I I. I miss I miss like the wasted Emily. Emily wasted is fucking hilarious. Like she is it. She's my wife's an absolute introvert. You get her wasted, she turns into your Game fucking over. stereotypical extrovert. It's fucking great. It's like it's fucking she's rage. Like best friend, huh? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I love both sides of her. It's just that's the side I haven't seen in a long time. I'm like, I kind of want to see what it's all about. She's what always else, being a mom. What else you want to see about shit? Never mind. Let's move on. <laughs> um, her ass, titties, all of it, <laughs> all of it, please. Oh, Goddamn wedding singer. God damn. Good start, don't you think? I mean, Cindy showed up, so right away, Scott, you gotta be pretty psyched, right? 
Hey, buddy, I'm not paying you to hear your thoughts on life. I'm paying you to sing. Mm -hmm. Well, I have a microphone, and you don't. So you will listen to every damn word I have to say! Uh, okay, that clip, short, part, right? short and sweet right there. there that go. was great. Love it. <laughs> she showed uh, up, so you gotta be feeling pretty good. <laughs> Who do you want to go first? Uh, Kevin, start it out, bub. Where? Oh, uh, all right, let's jump right into it then. Don't uh, get in it. Romantic aspect uh, it's definitely got to go towards ten things I hate about you. Just, I mean, you you see, you know, the kind of sappy little scenes like the one we just watched, uh, things like that. Um, <clears throat> there were some things here and there in Wedding Singer, but it all was like just a fucking joke. Like though, it was just like comedy, not like a joke. Like, oh, what a fucking stupid movie. Like. It was like more like everything was geared towards comedy and, and love mm -hmm. comedy at the same time. But, yeah. Um, so with that being said, comedy is going to go to the wedding singer. Um, I did think 10 things I had been about you did have funny parts, obviously, um, but not clearly as uh, funny as the wedding singer. 90s feel. Um, what gives you that 90s nostalgic feeling is what that says. Um, That's correct. And I don't think that it. I don't think that uh, Wedding Singer gave me that. Uh, I think that it's, it gives me kind of that late 80s, you know, 80s vibe. Um, mm -hmm. 10 Things I Hate About You was definitely 90s, definitely felt 90s. Everybody was dressed 90s. Everybody was singing 90s songs. Uh, you have fucking Clarissa Explains It All on there, you know, so uh, that was that. And uh, so, yeah. And then Date Night, um, definitely feel like, if you're trying to close the deal, you know, 10 Things I Hate About You was more towards that kind of movie. Uh, Wedding Singer is kind of, it was a funny movie. And, uh, you know, but like, like for instance, that scene right there, you know, depressing. Uh, you know, the guy was going through it. Uh, a lot of that movie was depressing to me. Like, the, the guy fucking. He's going, going through some shit. He was going through some shit, basically the whole fucking movie. Remember uh, the little kids in the middle of the movie where they're like, you're going to kill yourself, aren't you? <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. It's like, shit's so fucked up. Uh, so I'm going to go with uh, 10 Things I Hate About You. Moving on to the championship round. I hate that it's number one, and I'm moving it on to the championship round. We know you. Round, we, but, know. we know you. Uh, I don't give a fuck. You, know, hey, you it, sound like me right now, Kevin, where you were like, I, I want to see an upset. I hate that number I mean, one's I making it. I want to see something, you know. But, uh, yeah, it is what it is. You know, I, I think it was a – I think it's a good rom-com. I don't think that it's the best. I don't think it's number one in my opinion either, but uh, it's what's left because you fucking <laughs> stupid. So. That's my only option at this point. That's my vote. So you go 10 things I hate about you. Did did Prison Chase or whatever alteration version of Chase send you any vote? Yeah, he sent me a video, bro. Here what we go. It? Which version of Chase is this? Final four is here. 10 things I hate about you versus wedding singer. This is a really tough one for me. Um, I'll start with comedy. Um, they're both funny like in different ways, but ones. it's gotta be uh, wedding singer. It's just, you know, it's just hilarious. It's a little funnier. Um, romance is really close for me. Two different types of romances. Both have iconic romance scenes with wedding singer with the song at the end. 10 things I hate about you with the poem at the end. Um, God, I'll probably get the slight edge to Wedding Singer. Um, 90s, it's definitely 10 Things I Hate About You. Um, Wedding Singer is set in the 80s. I do think it has some 90s like feel to it, but definitely not nearly as much as 10 Things I Hate About You. Date Night, I think I'd give the slight edge to 10 Things I Hate About You. So that makes it a tie. And I was always scared this was going to happen, but I think Wedding Singer, the fact that it's set in the 80s is what cost it in a 90s rom-com bracket. They're so close and everything else that I think the fact that it's set in the 80s is what cost it here. 10 things I hate about you moving on for me. For me. Okay. That's nice. Well put. What did you say about he sounds good? I heard you say something. He like, sounds he sound better on the fucking phone than he does on the podcast. <laughs> that sound good. I was like, is that what he's... That's funny. Um, I'm going to go next. And I have kind of some quick facts. So 10 things I hate about you. The runtime, 97 minutes, released March 31st, 1999. My quick fact, I didn't know this. Apparently, 10 years after the movie came out, they did a TV show 
a reboot, which ran for one season and got canceled, which probably not surprised. Apparently it, from what I read, it sounds like it was a prequel. Like it was them just arriving to the town, but the same, the actor that played the dad, apparently he came back not nice. the dad. So I was like, that, that's why I went 20 episodes. He was probably carrying the comedic aspect for that. And then wedding singer, <clears throat> excuse me, released February 13th, 1998 runtime, 96 minutes. They apparently had a uh, Broadway musical of The Wedding Singer that ran from April 2006 to New Year's Eve of 2006. And some of you might know uh, um, Adam Sandler and Drew Barrymore have collaborated three times, apparently. This was their first, followed by 50 First Dates and then Blended. The hell is Blended? What What is that movie? You don't know? No. Um, Hence my question. What What is Blended about? Think of a movie with Adam oh. Sandler in it. Oh, oh shit. Okay. And and wait, That's Drew Barrymore's in it too? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Never heard of it. I've, oh, I've seen 50 First Dates. Yeah, they they basically uh go to uh Africa with their families um and head it off. Oh, so just uh, kind of It's like okay. a straight to Netflix movie. Oh no. uh, yeah, it's like I, they're like I, I, <clears throat> okay. It's like all the all the movies that he's put out that's gone straight to Netflix. If the, if you like them and enjoy them, you'll like this movie. If you I fucking you. hate Adam Sandler and you're just not a, a good human being, then you're not going to like it. So, so if you don't like Adam thing. Sandler and you suck, you're going to hate this movie. Honestly, so if you're not a fan of Adam Sandler, I think that you aren't a good person. I'm sorry to say that, but I, I honestly think if, if you apologize. really look at you him as it. an actor... And all of his movies, you can say, yeah, his movies are and all that, but he's actually a pretty fucking good person. His movies actually are entertaining. Uh, are they winning Emmys and Oscars and all that kind of shit or whatever the fuck uh, Academy Awards? Probably Oscars, not. You got it. But but if you look up some of the shit that he's done for like Drew Barrymore and you talk to people that he's been in movies with, they're like he's actually kind of like a comedic like mastermind. So I just hate when people shit on people just because they make comedy movies all the time. So Jason, how do you feel rant. about Adam Sandler? Yeah, it's I love the guy. I grew on him, and I grew on him. Jesus, I grew up with Ooh, him, and so uh, I I have a soft spot for him. I, I fucking love. It's one of my bucket lists. I would love to fucking meet him one time. Just shake yeah, his hand, and say, "Dude, you like, fucking thank you. made me laugh my entire life." So nice. There you go. Good shit. So mine, uh, I hate mine. Really wasn't this close. Romantic aspect. I give to ten things I hate about you. Yes, the wedding singer has a very romantic last scene, which I mean is is. Pretty pretty elite ending as far as romance, but ten things like I said, it is from it like I think it was Jay said an episode or two ago. It's got multiple stories going about romance pretty much from the get go, so that gets romance for me. Comedy again, I go ten things. Wedding singer is funny, but when I rewatch, I rewatch both of these again before this, and I laugh more at ten things I hate about you than wedding singer. Like Kev said. Wedding Singer is funny, but it also has some parts you're like, this is just fucking sad, bro. Poor, <laughs> exactly. poor guy is like singing a song, fucking kill me. Like he's, <laughs> he's going through it for a minute. 90s feel is, I mean, it's obviously 10 Things I Hate About You. Yes, the most 90s thing about Wedding Singer is that Adam, it's peak Adam Sandler. 10 Things, the music, you know, late 20s actors, all that deal is 90s. Date Night, I did give to Wedding Singer because I did feel bad. I didn't want to clean sweep it out of the Final Four because it is a good movie. These are both good movies, but this bracket-wise, 10 Things I Hate About You, it's it's not close. It moves on to the championship for me. It it, it It's number one seed for a reason. Mm-hmm. That's why it's the top seed. I respect it. It's the number one seed for a reason. That's why it's the top seed. Yeah, I oh. For the reasons that I explained. For me, yeah. everybody has their own. So let's... Para me. Jay... Get it. Uh, all right. I, I will literally say ditto to everything Chase said. I think he hit it right on the head. Um, I actually was, I'm back and forth on the, on the, the romance. I would say maybe that would be the only thing that I might question, but I don't, I, it's like, it, I, he could definitely steer me wrong if he, or steered me towards his decision. If him, if he was on here and he wanted to, uh, the only reason why I think I give romance to the 10 things I hate about you, uh, is because I get a little teary eyed. Uh, by the end of it, because she's starting to cry, and I kind of want to cry. Second, there's also other other romances within that, so I feel like that in height that like enhances the romance for that movie. But at the same time, I proposed to my wife with that song in the background, uh, from the wedding singer with the one in the plane. That was in the background. Like I said, um, that that's an elite was, ending of a movie. It, so I. I, I don't know I don't know where to go on the romance, but at the end of the day, it is ten things I hate about you for the reason of that. What feels like that '90s rom com? Ten things I hate about you feels like the rom com, and it, it's gonna it's gonna win it all. Like I've said it from the beginning. Yeah, it is. It's gonna win this entire bracket. Spoiler. 
That's their opinion. You want to play Jose? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's not my opinion, yeah. even though I voted like, I don't support that, even though I voted for it. Yeah, yeah. Tune in because you never fucking know. You know these I mean, idiots aren't yeah. always right, you know. Well, Jose, right. you what do you what right do you think Jose's right? going to go? He's going to go ten things. Kev, uh, uh, I think. I I say yeah, he's wild card. He gave I, us I think wedding. I think just to go against your love for Adam Sandler. Yeah, that things, too. So. Just to be like, oh, Jason loves him, so I'm going. I things. had no idea how, like, I did not expect how many, uh, all the movies that Adam Sandler was going to have. I mean, say all the movies, but I didn't expect him to be in this, this bracket until we broke it down. We know what Sad. you're fucking doing. You made this bracket. <laughs> this was your idea. Cool. And then you were like, oh, wow, it's got Adam Sandler in it. Sorry, guys. We have to watch all these Adam Sandler movies. Can't help it. No, that's not what it meant. Whatever, bro. Not at all. Just fuck it. It's over. Just fuck it. Of two final four matchups in the best 90s rom com bracket. The winner of this one will move on to the final. And we've got number one, 10 Things I Hate About You against number four, The Wedding Singer. This is a tough one. I mean, you know, we're down to the very end here. So these votes are definitely going to be kind of close. So let's start with the very first uh, piece of the criteria here, which is Romantic Aspect. Both these movies have a different kind of romance. You know, The Wedding Singer, you have Robbie, who's dealing with this heartbreak throughout the whole movie. And in a way, that sort of struggle that he's dealing with is romantic in and of itself. And so there's a strong romantic theme that continues through it. And it ends with this really awesome moment with Billy Idol on the plane where he serenades Julia. And it's super cute. Um, In 10 Things I Hate About You, there is a similar sort of a a serenade sort of moment where Patrick Heath Ledger's character um, serenades Kat uh, with um, uh, Can't Take My Eyes Off of You with the marching band on the field. Mm -hmm. Really cool moment um, and very romantic, but the theme of the romance is not carried as strongly throughout the film as it is in The Wedding Singer. And so I'm going to give romantic aspect to The Wedding Singer on that one. Um, When it comes to comedy... Again, tough, because I really, really love 10 Things I Hate About You. But I think that the comedic aspect for what I'm looking for in a rom-com is going to be stronger in The Wedding Singer. Um, It's a really funny movie, and it does not lose focus of the fact that it is a romantic comedy. Um, So I'm going to give um, the comedic aspect to The Wedding Singer on this one, too. Now, moving on to the 90s feel, both these movies are very 90s. The only thing that The Wedding Singer really has here that puts it outside of that range is that it's not based in the 90s. And I know that that shouldn't count as to whether or not it gives you 90s nostalgia. It should be the actors, the the music, just everything about it. And it does have that 90s feel. But 10 Things I Hate About You has so much 90s in it. It is very, very 90s nostalgic, just like all the 90s actors, the very well-known very 90s big. actors, Gabriel Union and Julia Stiles, Heath Ledger's and Joseph Gordon-Levitt, um, fucking Bernard from The Santa Claus. This is such a 90s movie. There's references nice to the call. real world. Like, this nice is a very, very 90s Shit. movie. Music, everything Bernard. about it. So, 10 Things I Hate About You, I think, actually runs away with the 90s feel on that one. So... It's going to come down to date night as to whether or not I have a tie. Which one do I think I'm going to get luckiest on? I think at the end of both of these movies, you're going to walk away with that, like, feel good, like, warm and cuddly feeling. Um, I just feel like perhaps in 10 Things I Hate About You, there's a couple of more romantic loops that are closed and it really leaves you walking away feeling really good. Um, plus, when I was growing up, I had a little bit of a crush on Joseph Gordon-Levitt, still kind of do, and on Julia Stiles, because she's <laughs> fucking gorgeous. So, I think my juices are going to be mm-hmm. a little bit more riled up at the end of 10 Things I Hate About You, and I'm going to be really pushing That's to get nice. laid. So, <laughs> I'm going to say 10 Things I Hate About You is probably going to be the one that is going to get me lucky, which means that I have a tie, and I have a really fucking difficult decision to make. Because you have... 10 Things I Hate About You, which is such a great movie. It has slayed through this bracket and done so well. And then you have The Wedding Singer. And I really feel like when I my tiebreaker is which one of these movies feels the most like a rom-com to me. And when I look at these movies, the ones that are based out of high schools 
with kids that are trying to, you know, to go to prom or this or whatever, I don't feel the same kind of romantic connection as adult heartbreak. And that is what the wedding singer has. I feel like the wedding singer is more of a rom- of a rom-com than 10 things I hate about you. So, so go ahead and call it. It's an upset, baby. Stick. Well, I'll just let you play the audio. My vote is going to go for the wedding singer here. Well played. What is up, Bro's Jose? Up. Jose here, and oh, it's wait, time for nope. me to give you my no, not vote. Not again, Jose. No, Jose. No. <laughs> Stop no. it. We're not hearing it again. Uh, Living up to the that wild That makes card. sense now. Now I understand maybe where his his mentality of like the what he feels as a, as a 90s rom-com See, the high school is what makes me like feel like a '90s rom com. Yeah, that is for me my too. Kind of it's like, that takes me right back to. And it makes sense if I'm not mistaken. That's why he was like, "She's all that sucks." Like it's just a bunch of horny fucking high school kids trying to fuck. It's not a mm. real rom com. So now it makes at least I understand where uh, Jose's mind's at when it when it comes to this bracket, and I respect that. That makes total sense. It's weird that he did. It's like, I mean, we went to high school and school during these movies, so it's weird that he doesn't relate to it as well. And plus, he has a hard on for both of them, like Kevin said. Not cool, bro. Yeah, That's must be funny. nice. You, yeah. Yeah. Every Take scene, you get to have a boner for every person you look at. Oh, there's cool. Joseph. Oh, there's Julia. Oh, perfect. Oh, God. Oh! oh. What if they both fucked? That'd I wonder, be great. He, I wonder he's like, I've rewatched this movie seven times. Yeah, we know. <laughs> we know why. Uh, what is Twitter, Gordon bro? Levitt. Twitter was... And I, I got to give a quick shout out to uh, this podcast that they've retweeted yeah. us for a few votes. Uh, mass dash debaters. Their handle is at debaters underscore mass. They've retweeted nice. a bunch of our polls. So shout out to them. Thank you for that. Thank you, guys. Appreciate Twitter you. was uh, over 50 votes, which I know for some other platforms not, but that's great for Twitter. The Wedding Singer, 68%. Damn. Took Twitter. I know. I did not see that coming. The tweeter. The tweeter. Uh doesn't matter. Instagram, Facebook. <laughs> doesn't uh, matter. 10 things I hate about you. All three of us, uh, Chase, Chris, and myself, uh, and Kevin, all, so four of us, all voted for 10 things I hate about you. So 10 things I hate about you moving forward, man. Um, I respect Ain't nobody the surprised. Singer. No, it's, I mean, a movie, surprised. it's a great movie, The Wedding Singer. It's a great movie. Honestly, I think The Wedding Singer probably would beat out. There's So the next matchup is There's Something About Mary or and versus She's All That. I could see The Wedding Singer beat both of those. Honestly, I could have seen. I mean, for me, I think it definitely could be. There's something about Mary. She's all that would be close, but there's something about Mary. I think it would be. I don't know. Kev, what about you, bro? I don't know, bro. I don't know. He's like, just get this bracket over with. (laughs) He's like, just fucking die. I didn't say all that. I mean, I think it could definitely be. She's all that. You know, top five worst acting in any movie of all time. Um, And then (laughs) consistent. Leave wrong. Uh, there's something about Mary. I think that's a that's a good rom com. I think it's a good movie. It's not a uh, more good calm than rom, but um, good. You know, it's up to your fucking choice. You know, which which yeah. what's your favorite uh, combination of rom to com? You know, uh, <laughs> you know, you know, fucking, fucking uh, you know, dude. So this this Excel sheet that our boy uh, Mike put together. I don't know why. Maybe it's just based off of total points or something like that, but. Without going to the championship and without even knowing who's going to be in the championship, it has – there's something about Mary winning it all. So I don't know if it's like AI just thinking for us or what. But like, it's going to win. Hey, don't worry. Your job's safe. Yeah, as you said, you're better. like, your job is okay, buddy. Uh, so, guys, uh, stay tuned. Next week we'll have the final matchup before the finals, and then uh, it's going to be a doozy of a matchup. Championship match. It's going to be a what? I know. I was trying to fuck with you, Kev. We're going to seven minutes, and this is where you get hyped up, a little bit drunker, and it's a good time. It's a good time. I'm it's going to be a beer, doozy, so. folks. Go check out seven <laughs> it's minutes. It's a next. doozy. Yeah. And go follow our boy Terp, uh, obviously. I mean, we're going to we're gonna drop him all day. I mean, just fucking – just Bro, I fucking love this The guy. hype, man. I want man, him on that, all the time. He's, he's, he's come hype every fan. week. I'm a, I'm a new fan. Yeah. He, he, I didn't know what I was going to get when, when he came on the podcast, and I and he, he – he brought it. He brought right. it. Um, speaking of sports and shit, uh, we're going to jump into seven minutes. Uh, make sure you uh, check that out. A few moments later. Just ready for this, guys? We're back. Um, Kevin, I was going to let him take a piss break, but I said, no, fuck you, Kevin. I've get had up. two piss breaks. <laughs> I've already peed twice since we've been sit down. This. Because we have, we have the most consistent, the, the most no. reliable segment wow. of all time uh not my words those are his words um, is it under 10 minutes this one uh that's a great question let's, <laughs> let's find out i'll let you know in a couple seconds uh what do you guys think over or under nine minutes like just under 
Mm. What about you, Kev? Uh, definitely over. Mm. Guys, it's under six minutes and 38 seconds. So that just means that's acceptable. Find First yeah. of two Can final you guys four fuck up, please? In the God damn it. 90. No, no, Jose, no. <laughs> Stop casting. No. We know your vote already. Damn it. What is up, my people? It is time once again for another edition of This Is Where We Fucked Up. The weekly fact checking segment on the podcast where we call Pleasure. out the mistakes of the previous week. We're diving straight into episode 216 this week, which has a few fuck-ups that we want to call out, so let's not waste any more time and just dive right in, because that this shit, boy. is where we fucked up in episode 216. <laughs> Alright, we're going to kick it off this week with Power Hour. Last week in very Chris brand fashion, Chris brought up Facts. the game Power Hour, and there was a bit of confusion over the math behind the game. So I want to kick it off to this week by just clearing a couple of things off. First everyone. off, the goal of Power Hour is to take 61 ounce shots of whatever it is that you're drinking. If you're bold enough to do this with alcohol, then good luck. You're dead. But really, you're it's dead. intended to be drank with 12 ounce cans of something that is relatively light so that would take you about five 12 ounce cans to get through one hour of power hour now as far as the abv or alcohol by volume goes your everyday light beer is going to be around 4.5 percent alcohol by volume Chris's Man. Twisted Teas are up to 5%, which really isn't that much further from your regular everyday light beer. Says, um, now, for context, hey, for Locos, Give it a go if like you the want. OG Try for Loco was 12% ABV, uh, which is way out of, uh, w- way higher than your regular light beer. So, Chris, Ooh. the Twisted Teas... It wasn't really getting you that much more drunk than your everyday Bud Light would have, bro. Just man up and make sure that you're taking your one-ounce shot every minute. Hey, try it out, dude. Kev, last week in the clip that Chris picked from There's Something About Mary in the best 90s rom-com bracket, you were really close, dude, about when you called out the red car that Ted was standing in front of when Mary ran out to pick him. First... You said that it was a Ford Taurus, which then you corrected yourself, uh, and you said that it was a Mercury Cougar. It was actually a 1996 or 97 Mercury Sable. The Mercury Sable is almost an exact replica, an equivalent to a Ford Taurus. When it comes to mechanically, they're built basically the same way. So your initial guess makes a lot of sense. They're commonly confused with each other. But hey, Mm. to to still be able to remember the Mercury Cougar, that's really impressive, man. Even though you guessed wrong, you were still really close. And I can confirm that this man knows his cars. Kev... Last week, you interrupted Chase during his vote, which I'm sure Chase will be glad that I am pointing out. Um, But when you interrupted him, you did say this. Brett Favre is height of his 90s fucking Brett Favre-ness. Four-time MVP. Don't give a shit. Now, I wanted to make sure to insert the audio here so that there is no denying of this epic fuck up that you had Mm. when you said that your supposed idol had four mvps brett Favre only has three mvps in his career and one unsolicited dip pick not four mvps (laughs) wow kev way more than one you were like an owner or whatever you know your history aren't you a history major and an owner God, I can't believe that you would make such an egregious error about your Packers. I mean, even the most juvenile Packer fan would know that dick pick Brett Favre, Wrangler fan, has three MVPs, not four. Gosh, I guess you're really not that big of a fan, huh? Chase, buddy, we haven't called you out in a minute. Medias is not a word. 
the applicable <laughs> plural form of the word media is, service. in fact, just media. Or maybe in a more context for the way that you were using it, the best way to use it would be to say something like, make sure that you're following us on all our social media platforms, not our social medias. That's that's actually grammatically incorrect. Kev, you were right on this one. Um, I know that you're a math guy, Chase, but come on, man. I expect a little bit better from you. Kev, my brother, I know that you don't often believe in your awful memory with good reason because it definitely lets you down more often than not. But I just wanted to mention that last week when you were stock- talking about Scrumps uh, and his new Mountain Dew gaming streaming room, you said that Mountain Dew poured $50,000 into that streaming room and then you pulled that back because you were like, ah, it might be an exaggeration. Bro, you were correct. Mountain That Mountain Dew streaming room that Scrumps has is valued at $50,000 worth of equipment in that room. I took a look at it. It's pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure exactly what you would do differently to it, but what I will say is believe in yourself, man, because you were right to begin with. And finally, here is last week's moment of crash. You're taking the, the dick. Uh, <laughs> love the I will take your dick. Makes sense, because, I mean, if that thing's lathered and cum, you're just going to slide right off. All right, folks, that is it for this week. Yes, if sir. I missed anything, you know what to do. Just uh, slip into my DMs at HipHipJose14 on Instagram. And until next week, peace. Peace. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about that, Brett Favre shit. That was on me actually. Uh, it was he won three straight. I, I always want to put one more in there for some goddamn reason. Um, <laughs> yeah, don't beat you, did, don't uh, beat yourself uh, up about it though. No, and uh, okay. what was he? Say? If he says scrump one more time, put some <laughs> respect on fucking Scump's name, bro. This is Scumper Jumper, dude. What are you doing? It's fucking scump, not scrump. There's no R in there. Yeah, okay? dude. God damn it, bro. He's fucking uh, epic. You should he's know probably the, and that, He's probably the best this. Call of Duty uh, player of all time. Um, so, you know, for mm. those Call of Duty fans. But still play Call of Duty. Mm. Sorry about it. I think Kevin was playing playing that at his house. I was trying to get you in there, but you had to go play with your kids. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah. My kid, my yeah. kid, at easy babysitter. He'd be like, "Daddy's room," and I was like, "Oh, you want to watch uh, Harry Potter? Me play Harry Potter or soccer?" And he was like, "Soccer." So, of course, ball. That's about it. Naturally, yeah, ball. Paul, uh, Paul. Like, why Paul. is that ball? Paul? It's a ball. Paul. Ball. Oh, ball. ball. I, I thought you ball. just said Paul's Paul. name, like Paul. I was like, I like Paul. Paul's cool, bro. <laughs> Paul, Paul's cool, dude. Sure. <laughs> can, we can talk about Paul too if you want. That's fine. Whatever. You how want how, to, how the Call of Duty? By the way, guys, we we kind of gave up on Call of Duty a while ago. Kevin's trying to get us back to it. Um. We nope. were playing Fortnite a lot. <laughs> they, uh, nope. I did not uh, come back to it one time. <laughs> wrong. Well, you, you just played it just now. How was it? How'd it go? Uh, same. Is it everything same, you dropped? Yeah, same. Uh, yeah, this changed. <laughs> not same good. shit. Same good. Uh, what are we talking about? Same. Just bring. Let's play the old one. Let's just go back. The servers are up. Let's go Aaron play the Aaron Rodgers one. was the four-time MVP that I was thinking about. Mm. Sorry about that. But, oh, thank you. Randomly. I'm fucking ADD here. <laughs> Thanks for bringing that up. We weren't talking about that. He, ha- he had to make sure the record was correct, or he just could uh, not scum with himself. Not Scrump nope. and Aaron Rodgers and not Brett Favre. Sorry about that. Um, he's taking got notes. more than Tom Brady, so, yeah. Okay. He's better. Um, he's better. Guys, we're going to jump to dad tip. We're going to do it. Is that okay? Can we jump to dad I'm tip? Fine. I, I'm, I'm fine with that. I, I was going to say, I have a blind rankings that I would do over the would you rather, but we can go to dad tip. I, I thought you told – I, well, I love that segment. We need to get a fucking too. intro for it because it's going to stick forever. But it I is. thought you promised Chase. Uh, no, I said how much it. Chase had pissed me off, but, like, he never told us why he's not here. And he had, he still hadn't responded, so he's kind of pissed me off. So, was like, we got there. I was like, let's just do blind rankings. There Fuck Chase. All right. Go. Go for it. Let's I'm go. going to let you be the bad guy. Chris is never the bad guy. Normally, I think we're running a little tight or a little long. But I love quick. seeing Chris. I love be Chris quick. being a bad guy. Wait, so wait. Describe the intro. You ready? Yeah, oh hit, God, hit. what is that? I can't see it. <laughs> what? Where is it? Oh, where is it coming from? It's Chris's blind rankings. <laughs> That's so good. Can we do That's that great. one more time with like yeah. more energy? Sure, sure. Yeah, I'll, come on. Well, you brought right, in, in the... three. I didn't know you were doing the intro. No, no. All right, I, I literally quiet. said let's do the intro. So I don't understand. 
I thought you meant like let's do it, like go produce it, like go get it done. Like that, <laughs> well, that, well, now we're gonna go, cl- go, now go, go clip that real quick right now. Two hours into the show, so I don't know what you want to yeah. produce right now. But... All right, ready? Mm-hmm. Are you set? I want no, no, better wait. energy next time. This time, no, right. you were kind of lacking. What it was, was the whoa? That was terrible. All right, hold on. Let oh. me get it. All right, go three, three two. Oh my God! What is that? Where is it? Where the? Where did that go? I can't. You're supposed to do the whoa. What happened? To the whoa. It's a uh, blind rankings. Ah, oh, just fuck. What the fuck are we doing right now? Jason's anyway, fucking favorite. Let, Jason let, let, dropped the right. fucking ball. Let, let me just get the segment going here. God damn, this is blind rankings. I'm gonna shout out the makeshift project because. There was inspiration. I saw them on TikTok and YouTube. Go check them out too. They're pretty awesome. This is, it's very simple. I'm going to let these guys rank items, five items, but they don't know what's coming next. Mm, So this, this week, the category is appetizers. I'm going to give them one. They're going to rank it and I'm going to proceed to follow with four more, but they don't know what's coming next. All right. You ready? Mm -hmm. Yes. The first appetizer is fried pickles. Where are you ranking fried pickles in your top five? And you said top five? Okay. Uh, yeah. One through five, one the best, five the worst. Where are you ranking three fried pickles? for me. Three for Kevin. Five is the worst? Five's the worst. Number one is like oh, your okay. go, your favorite. Five is your like bottom. All okay. right. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm overcomplicating this. Uh, three. Three. So you both say three for fried pickles. Ding. Yeah. Ding. Spinach artichoke dip. I'm going four. Four? Okay. I'm going four as well. All right. Ding. Weird. Ding! Identical mozzarella sticks. I'm going five. Five, okay. I mean, sometimes... I say one. Sometimes they're overcooked and you don't get any. Yeah, I mean, I, I get you. Did. Sometimes they slap and other times you're like, they didn't do nothing with these. Sometimes, like, oh, you overcooked them fuckers two, like, 30 seconds? Mm-hmm. It's over. So you, it's you gotta rat. think nachos and something else is gonna be on there. It's gotta wings. be, like, wings, right? right? Yeah. Wings. Uh, I would. Oh, fuck, that's hard. It's gonna I want to say five only because I, I. The only reason. <laughs> Will not the be only reason mushroom. why I say five is because I feel like there's never enough mozzarella sticks unless you're ordering it for yourself. If you split it or you have more than two people, it's a group it's app, enough, and it always pisses me off. It's a delicious app, but I want to. I kind of want to be a little full before I get to my meal because I want to eat the shit out of these appetizers, <laughs> <What? laughs> and then I have to go leftovers. That's how my brain works. Okay. Um. So I'm gonna go five. I'm gonna agree with Kev three times in a row. Just trippy. You guys have the same rankings. Bing, loaded cheese fries. Fuck, I kind of want to put it one. Ah, This is stupid. I I regret (laughs) it. This is a a two. I would definitely be a five. I would have never guessed loaded cheese fries being on this list. Fuck, I kind of want to put it one. It's your rankings, bro. Yes. Fuck Uh, my life. I will say it is a little heavy. and then the fries underneath are really like not really fries at some point. Like they just become like a mush, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm worried about one because now. Fries we, should not be on here. This is bullshit. Well, it's, I mean, look, we got here. It's a hey, side. It's, it's here. more of it's a here. side to me. Loaded fries. Loaded okay. cheese fries. Loaded, loaded cheese fries. Yeah, fries. I still think of it's like a side. Show me, show me what feel. fucking, I mean, you live in America. Give me a restaurant yeah. that yeah, shows yeah, me. No, somebody got it. It's fucking amazing. I mean, someone will be like, yo, we'll throw some cheese and shit on your fries for you. What yeah. is the fucking uh, Miller's? That What's the one chicken? that gives you? The Mountain chicken? Melt. You're talking about the fucking Mountain Melt? Tell me about the Mountain Melt. What is it? A I'll heart attack is what it is. Yes. Yeah. It's Every like time chicken. I see that, I'm like, God, I. It's it's yeah. like their chicken tender wings, zingers, whatever they're called, on top yeah. with mixed in with fucking loaded cheese fries and like two ranches. It's literally like, the last time I had one like 10 years ago, I'm like, this is taking years off my life right now. It's like I see it, I'm like, God damn it, I really want it. But I'm like, I, I know it's that's you're just gonna bad hate for you. everything about your life you, after you'd it. probably be healthy you're smoking a pack of uh, pack of cigarettes, bro. Just one time. I was just saying that too. I was like, bro, you might <laughs> like as well just so... fucking smoke a pack of cigarettes. That's, that's gotta crazy. be so you gotta feel like an asshole afterwards. Um, but they're good. No, <laughs> but they are good. Loaded loaded fries, not the mountain milk. I was like, damn, Kev's milk. like, I want a mountain um, milk right now. Right. So you're going two or one? <sighs> My wife loves loaded fries too. I'll put him in one. I'll put him in one because I have a feeling. Stupid. I have a feeling one's gonna it's, be trash. It's gonna no. He's gonna be wings or uh, wings or nachos. All right. So what are you gonna pick? 
Oh, I, I said I had to give it two because he put it at two. two. He was not one. happy about yeah. it. You put it as number no, one. No, it would be at a five right now. I'm, t- I'm totally fine with going cheese fries two. No, your last one. I looked it up. Which is the more common boneless wings? Is the oh, more common okay. appetizer than traditional wings? Uh, first off, let me just say, boneless wings are not uh, fucking wings. They're chicken nuggets. I'll take okay, that I'm, I'm happy. Uh, <laughs> He's like, I'm, I can roll with that. Boneless wings are not only trash. I had boneless wings last night. They were fine. I know, and yeah. I was respectful. I let you do it, and you seemed to enjoy them. And they were all know. right, but they They're are good. not. How did you guys put this. Fuck off this masculinity nope. thing. They're not real chicken wings. Like, it's not a, I enjoyed them very it's much. It's not goddamn thing. chicken. There nothing. No, I, there's no fucking. Tell me what kind of chicken has a boneless wing. There ain't one. What? Yeah, there is Fred. Fred's fucking. He, 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 he meant a lot. He's Fred? A <laughs> Fred, the, Fred the, the chicken Fred's, has the boneless. Hey, Come on, no. He's a good looking guy. Uh, goddamn no. chickens. <laughs> Don't have wings. They do not exist. They're called chicken nuggets. They're not boneless chicken wings. That's a stupid term for them. I agree with that. But okay. they, they get shit on like they're not good and they're very they good. They are good. I mean, we're I. are chicken nugget fans, so I don't want to fucking hear I, nothing again, from you. I have chicken I, nuggets at least two or three times a week. That's I, unbelievable. Too, I, I agree. <laughs> Tr- traditional wings are better, but I would not say boneless or trash. They're not as good as traditional, but they're not I mean, trash. I got them in my freezer, but I'm not eating them three times a week. Well, no, I make a lot of, like, t- tonight there I made uh, four, 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 <laughs> four giant <laughs> chicken breasts from the air fry, air fryer. Okay. I make little, my right. little chicken nuggets. So, yeah. He's like, but then I, I also have, nothing. like, two or three bags of chicken nuggets in my... And he's like, we might as well make six of them, right? Let's just, just go ahead and just throw a few yeah. extra tenders on there. Why not? You know? 1,000%. Yeah. You know, throw them on a fucking... Knock. I'll throw... Hey, I'll cover them bitches in buffalo. Throw them on a piece of bread with some cheese on top. A little bit of lettuce. They're good! Mm-hmm. No one turns their nose up. You just get embarrassed because there's this fucking like aurora around being like a pussy for eating chicken nuggets, and it's like go fuck off. It's a good goddamn meal. Everybody, everybody, that, no, no. everybody that acts that way is just like, man, I'd fuck up some chicken nuggets right now. You can make a sandwich out of them. You throw them into a salad. It's like you, you can, can do so much nuggets and make a little sauce, man. It's like I don't know why it means. I don't know why <laughs> I have to do that. Why are you sauce? milking a fucking uh, <laughs> miniature cow? <laughs> you know. Yeah. With your fucking so basically, the cows after are giving me the buffalo sauce. Yeah. So basically, after this podcast, Jay's like, I'm gonna go make some nuggets. Fuck y'all. I have a fucking giant like bucket <laughs> mm-hmm. in my fridge right is. now. I made way too much. Wait, you've yeah. what? They're already ready to go. So you yeah, save for them this- if you don't eat them. Yeah, I'll meal prep them friend. for the week to like spice it up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, no, I'll... Chicken nuggets are getting soggy once they're. No, I just throw them back in the air fryer. Just throw them in the Come air on, fryer man. for like a minute. I used to so air fryer you... like a nuker. Jason. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> Hold on. No, I need to figure this out. I mean, that's it. Go for I, it. I'm bro. not downing you. I'm just saying. You air fry a chicken nugget or a chicken yes. tender, rather. No, I make from scratch. I get a chicken breast. I bread them. No, you and I cut shit. them up in little squares. <laughs> I swear to God, I will get show you right there after the episode. I'll show you. I swear to okay. God, I have. Well, that makes more sense. Then. I thought you were talking about you take frozen <laughs> the frozen nuggets, like air fry them. If oh. you don't use them, you put them in the refrigerator. No, you were not going to do that. If you don't use that. them, then you put them back in the air fryer. <laughs> Oh no, no! I will eat leftover chicken nuggets though. But no, I, that whole process that you're talking about is, I mean, when I meal prep. Okay. All right. <laughs> First of all, you're full of shit. Real Let's chicken stop. breasts that I make, not chicken. I don't take chicken nuggets out of the freezer and call that meal prepping. That is not <laughs> okay. what I'm doing. I swear I, to God. Look, I no judgment <laughs> on you meal preppers. Okay, you want to do it? Do it. You um, do it all the time for work too. Fuck off. I never said that I didn't. Did I? I mean, you're I hating know. on us, bro. It's mm. not fair. Hating I on the bones. Chicken nuggets unite. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Yay, chicken nuggets. Hey, uh, if you eat. Any chicken nugget without sauce, you're a fucking savage. Though. I don't know what the fuck you're doing. You gotta put. I would agree on. with that. Yeah, yeah. You, you're you're dipping in something. You're that yeah. you're that person that eats a dry salad. What dressing you want? Ah, uh, no dressing. I'm just gonna no, eat the salad. Just, just give me salt. <laughs> <laughs> just give me some pepper. <laughs> like, you have salt and pepper. No, we're good. Salt and pepper. I'm, that's enough. That's all. You I have need. Do you, do you have any more oregano? That- <laughs> I'll just throw oh. some oregano. Do, do, do you have a diet ranch, perhaps? Because that would be the most disgusting dressing you've ever seen. <laughs> Lumpy it's, ass. Um, it's more about the uh, the people that make their own dressing that piss me off more. It's just like, hey, yeah, can you give me a little bit of olive oil? And then if you have some basil on the side and maybe, I mean, obviously a little bit of mint. And then if you have wine vinegar, that'd be awesome. And they'll make their own. I'm like, go kiss yeah. a dick. What? What? Get, dr- get a little what? bowl and fucking mix that shit in. Like, also, oh, bring a little bowl I and I'll have, mix these all up. 
I have seen someone bring in their ranch seasoning, the packet, and you probably put it in water to make it into ranch or whatever You're it lying. is. I've seen someone do that. I uh-uh. swear to you. Not bro. at a restaurant. No, they didn't. At a restaurant. They make I believe own. that. Like, I believe that. It's an allergy 100%. thing. Yeah. Mm, What's totally. an allergy thing? We're fucking making the same thing uh, in your goddamn bowl that we're, we have here in the restaurant. Oh, like, man. It's allergies, dude. It's allergies. It's <laughs> fucking, uh, there's semen 28% less gluten. Okay. Yeah. So, can I can okay. I just get it? Can I get a bowl and some water, please? And I'll do it myself. Yeah. A bowl, a bowl and, some, dog, and a spoon. Yeah, and a, if not too much trouble, a spoon, please too. Thanks. Yeah. A fork would be great, honestly. Yeah. Not, Fuck, dude. Yeah. I'm not trying to do too much. Uh, all right, Kev, okay, you got another dad tip? It's good. Right. Did I hear a baby? Chris, I like. I, I heard a baby too. Is that your girl? <laughs> it's not a baby <laughs> that yeah. I'm aware of. <laughs> I I thought that I fucking did a number on you. Apparently, we not. No, we, you I, did. You I did. I was trying to help you, Chris, bro. Chris, Chris you got did. home and was like, "I'm gonna adopt now." Like I feel like, like I'm adopting. He's like, time. you know, how we talked about in the future. Like, let's yeah. just cancel all plans <laughs> forever. Yeah. I was down there for Kevin weekend. Let's, let's wait on that a bit. We're not ready. Off. Let's make sure. Let's make sure. Let's make sure. Make sure, make sure we're, we're ready. forty and above. Also, I'm also deleting my Snapchat off my phone because apparently huh. that's gonna cause people to fucking fight about. Don't life. age shame him, Chris or yeah. Kevin. I heard that. Let's what? be forty or above. Don't do that, bro. It's I'm not just, cool. Man. I'm forty and don't above. Don't pressure him. Don't pressure him to have yeah, kids I'm at feeling the time pressure you by feel 40, yeah, you need it. <laughs> don't do it. Just do it by forty. <laughs> Chris, do mean, it by 40. hurry up. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to be that old, decrepit man walking, a, you know, to fucking graduation with your daughter. You know, or son. <laughs> Whose grandpa's at graduation? Doing great, <laughs> baby. I love you. Chris That's is going to my... be that 95 year old finishing 5Ks and be on fucking Good hey. Morning America. Bro. Chris is now 107 years old, finishes his 18,000 5K. Have you been How's keeping track? Feel, Chris? How do you even know? What? You've been keeping track? Keep track of what? How many five Ks you want? Oh no, I need to go back and do that. I probably pull the results because I out of there's all so many things, old. Right? Yeah, do I know. Have, I have, do you have like but I, clips or shit? Yeah, no, I'd have know? to count. I've got all the little bibs I always have, so I just have to count all those up. I got a whole pile of bibs, that's by the way. As I well. don't know. Like, that's a when great I think question. of bibs, what do you think about babies? Yeah, babies. I mean, that's what I think of the same thing. Is <laughs> that's what I think of running It's for babies. All right, dude, chill out, bro. <laughs> Wait, our next challenge after uh, squats is running, so you better get your Go shit Go fuck a dick. Go you know Oh, what? so it's, it's Jason's Dana. challenge. Say, He's making you know all what? the workouts here, We've apparently. been doing Jason heavy. Yeah. Like, like, Did anybody so else I get to throw in a challenge I here? I wanted to do abs. <laughs> I did want to do abs. I, wanted to, I mean, I, we should Well, squats are next. After day two of lunges, I was like, can we go back to bro. abs, please? After walking that fucking water park yesterday and doing those lunges last night, I was like, God damn. That was not funny. It was idiotic. It was I do them funny. in the middle of the day. I don't. I don't actually. I used to do all the push-ups after the the workout, but now I wait in the middle of the day. I me, the me and Chris were walking to the long, top just... of these fucking water towers, you know. And, and yeah, I was like doing lunges. Surely up these count as. I was like, we could just lunge. do some lunges yeah. on the way up. I guess, but we didn't push out. We went awesome. home and we did them. Did you, you did them all? Did them together, staring in each other's eyes. No, I stared in Chris's eyes while he did them and jerked off on the side. Um, True story. Again, after twenty, I came. But um, <laughs> uh, Jesus, that's you it. know what, young lady? Okay. Do you want to go to <laughs> Cut timeout? It. Cut it. All right, one, two, three. It's time for dad tips. Boy. All right, folks, dad tip, uh, weekly dad tip now. It's kind of a big deal. Um, still don't have an intro. Thanks a lot, Kevin. Oh, what, <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? What's wrong with you? Oh, you haven't done your challenges for the year either? What the fuck are you doing, Kevin? Uh, hey, sorry I could I could have filmed three of them, but fuck could it. Have. Yeah. Fuck it. I could have did TikTok dances at the water park. It saw me. Um, that would have been prime for a couple of them. Dad tip. I think... Um, I think that for this dad tip, I think they said you gotta keep it separated. You're just singing a song at this point. Yeah. So I think sometimes you gotta separate. Uh, as parents, you gotta let your kids know that you are not a collective unit at all times, but you are a collective unit. You know what I mean? So like, uh, and I think it's important for uh, parents' health. Uh, even Bluey, we were watching an episode of Bluey today where um, 
the mom in blue was like, you know, hey, she basically told the dad, like, I need 20 minutes, you know. And the kids were kind of offended. They were like, what did we do wrong, mommy? What's going on? They're like, no, you know, mommy just, mom, being a mom's a hard thing. Sometimes I just need 20 minutes. Uh, I think that that applies as well with a couple days. You know, my wife uh, is off uh, on a vacation right now, hence why Chris came in and, uh, you know, got a little, uh, got a little parenting, uh, parenting time in. Congrats well, we on that. Got that's, it. Why, that's why he's absolutely exhausted right now. <laughs> um, I'm actually not, but it, it, I, bro, like I said, single parents. Respect. Damn. Respect. Cause damn. But, uh, <clears throat> I think it's, I think it's, I think it's good for your parents' health. I think it's good for parenting health, uh, to separate from now and again. Uh, and I'm not talking about for work. I'm talking about like, go do something that you love go do something you know that uh, is outside of go do something that makes you happy for a couple days uh you know we as guys we have our guys trip i think that counts mm -hmm. um we haven't had one in quite some time but you know i we do i i do go and visit people we do things like that here and there but my wife went and did something left us behind left me behind with the kids and hopefully she had a good time because uh you know it's time to come back uh, i need you so much baby and that's why I'm <laughs> please here. come back please come back babe I, I need you now um please if this flight gets delayed like the way on the on the way there i i don't think i'm gonna make it i just want to let you know <laughs> just this is my hopefully this back gets tonight. to you by tuesday um so, <laughs> no, no, i'm just kidding i'm good i'm good i'm just kidding uh, but seriously help but no no when she, she get back uh, she'll leave. She'll be back tomorrow. Hopefully, I I do believe. I think everything's gonna be delayed. This shit's just crazy. Know. You you're a flyer, Jay. You know what you're saying. Which flight or airline? The world. Um, oh. Delta, Maybe think, bring that down Delta. a little bit from the world. I mean, Delta's a top a top dog. I mean, they usually get their shit together, but who knows? Everyone yeah. has their well. Your yeah. flight on the Ailments. way there got delayed. But anyways, what I'm saying is. Take some time for yourself uh, as a parent and uh, as a co-parent, understand that as well. Like, you know, don't be a dick about it. You know, if your mm -hmm. wife is like, hey, I kind of feel like I need a couple days, you know, let her go off with her girlfriends or her sister, or family, whatever, you know, because it's important. So do that. Good stuff, man. One, one day I'll get Emily to do that. Yeah, I mean, just send her off to her parents or something. Even if it's just a, you know, like Erica went with her sister. How do you, you know? Yeah, just but like, her sister probably encourage asked. it. Like, how did that come? Encourage. Like, I, oh, I encourage go, it go, go check. Her, go, go visit them. Be like, why don't you? Yeah, be like, hey, or get the other party. You know, to be like, mm -hmm. hey, you know, you have been here in a minute. Like, come on. What do you think about Erica coming in town for a weekend? You know, and then be like, hey, she said she wants you to come in town, like live, you know. Oh, okay. I got it. <laughs> just lie, lie. lie to everybody. That's Maybe the key I, to I this dad's ass just straight lie. I think the key to parenting is lying, I think. It could be. Uh, I mean, it works for me. So let's back out of that. Okay. So let's not <laughs> cut, that, cut that. Cut that. Cut that part out real no, quick. Keep it. Keep hey, it. Keep man. It. That was a good dad tip. I like that one. Thank you. You're on a roll. I think that's 11 in a row. You're killing it. If I Let me see. Most consistent, reliable segment of all time. No. Some say. No. Don't put that evil on me, Bobby. That's 11. Good job, man. Oh, thank you. Chris can't count all the 5Ks you ran, but he can fucking memorize It's literally in front of my face, the fucking psycho spreadsheet. You know what? I'll make a note. I'm going to count all the bibs tonight, and then next week I'm going to tell you how many. better be over 50. It's got to be. It has Speaking to be of 50. over 50, we have done 217 of these fucking episodes. Wow. And Boom! It is a wrap, folks. Uh, 217 is gone and done. Uh, we do appreciate our guest, Austin Turp. Go check him out on his uh, Instagram. What was it, Chris? Oh, <laughs> I, there it is. I got it. Turp Daddy Slim. Third Daddy Instagram. Slim, go check him out. Thank you so much, Austin, for coming on. Um, awesome, dude. What a fucking, what a fucking interview, right? Hey, I'm hyped for him. He's got a new fan from me personally, um, and then you know I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go watch his next slap uh, battle. August um, 9th, baby. August that's when he's, 9th. he said he's bringing the belt back on August 9th. What was the app he said? Do you remember? What was it? Uh, 
Mm, he did say it on the uh, Rumble. Interview. Rumble. Rumble. I think you're right. I think you're right. Jim. Yeah, that sounds right. Um, so go app. download that app so we can watch him as well. Um, but uh, yep, Rumble. Good call. Good call, Jay. Also, uh, yeah. ten things I hate about you. Moving on to the championship round to meet the winner of there's something about mary and she's all that for next week get excited about that your votes count so make sure that you are voting on all our social sites uh which you can find us cup to cup show twitter instagram uh threads uh youtube um facebook um jim jam uh so <laughs> jim jam also, Find us on it's, Jim Jam. I, it's a kid's side, I have a feeling, so uh, let's not, mm, let's not <laughs> do Jim Jam. Let's cancel that. Cut that, cut that, cut that, cut that, cut that, cut that. Let's make it uh, cut that, cut that. ready to Um yep. Also, um, make sure, if you're like, oh my God, like, I didn't, I forgot, I didn't even know you guys had a bracket going on. That's crazy. Go check out cup to cup life.com and you can see all of our brackets that we've done in the past. And you can also see the one that's going on right now and kind of, you know, uh, update yourself on yeah, everything. Let yeah, let us know. Let us, yeah, tell us what all happened. All of our social sites, how we kind of fucked up. Um, we will be putting the full episode on YouTube. So if you are a YouTube kind of person like I am, make sure you go check out that. You can see our pretty faces. Me and Chris, we got a little bit of burn going on. Oh, yeah. We, uh, got, we got some, some sun, sun, right? We got some yep. sun. We did. Mm-hmm. Um, so, sorry. Jay, you got, like Jay's got good color. Thanks, though, man. For Virginia. Thanks, man. <laughs> what did that uh what did that lady say to you right what did that lady say to you oh. <laughs> did you put sunscreen on and i was like no oh well you're a little burnt complete fucking stranger Haven't i was gonna say was she random what? stranger yeah 100 percent random russian stranger fucking russians you, you know um yeah <laughs> we're shit. not on your side russia um so oh kevin making claims like to, mm-hmm. when it comes to sunburns um so good, save, that. good save good save good save good save uh, good save good save good save go Jeez, get your, freaking uh, out right there go go get wrap your, it up um, kevin go get your we hate russia um sunburn <laughs> t-shirts on cup to cup life.com slash merch <laughs> love you guys so much bye bye